It has been confirmed that Aragorn is now officially black in the new upcoming Magic the Gathering set that is themed around Lord of the Rings. These leaks released months and months ago and many were hopeful that they weren't true, but here we are and they are. It's funny that Wizard of the Coast made a set to cater to Lord of the Rings fans, yet they implement identity politics into the mix, knowing that Lord of the Rings fans are faithful to the books. Just look at Rings of Power for example and the amount of backlash that show got from Tolkien fans, which are rightfully deserved. And now, Wizard of the Coast is getting the same same treatment. And well, what do you know? It seems that Gandalf has also been race swapped here on the pack art. And for those that don't believe that Aragorn is depicted as white in the books, I'm going to read this little excerpt from the actual books. Frodo found that Strider was now looking at him as if he had heard or guessed all that had been said. Presently, with a wave of his hand and a nod, he invited Frodo to come over and sit by him. As Frodo drew near, he threw back his hood, showing the shaggy head of dark hair flecked with gray, and in a pale, stern face, a pair of keen gray eyes. I am called Strider, he said in a low voice. Voice, I am very pleased. Oh, my bad, guys. He has a pale face. He must be sick. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if people actually create that argument. And here is the new Aragorn that has been race swapped in the name of identity politics. And these companies and activists within the companies never seem to be able to create anything of good or new, but always destroy and defile works of original writers. And that's exactly what we're seeing here with Wizards of the Coast and them race swapping Aragorn. But that is not all as Eowyn, a shield maiden from Rohan, has also been race swapped. Which of course wouldn't be the case as Rohans were literally called white skins by the Urukai. They couldn't even get that right. But there is also one more character that may have also gotten the same treatment in being race swapped, and that is Galadriel herself, as she's possibly going to be featured on the packaging of Commander decks. This just cannot be real, just absolutely spitting on Tolkien's grave. And there's a saying, the father builds, the son protects, and the grandson destroys, which is what we are seeing here and have been seeing since the start of Rings of Power. And all the more funny that this set is targeted towards Lord of the Rings fans, and yet you just spat on the original author's works, in which many of them respect. If anything, you just made the vast majority of the fan base not want to purchase this set. Congratulations, Wizards of the Coast. Having this article by X-Fire saying Magic the Gathering previews of Lord of the Rings cards received mixed fan reactions. The Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle-Earth cards for Magic the Gathering get mixed reactions like a different Aragorn and the One Ring. And let's just go to the tweet that started all of this made by Wizards of the Coast, which they're getting absolutely destroyed in the comments as we see here. Amazing, let's go Mommy Wizards. Another overpriced, overprinted product with Pringles foils. Yeah, so but he doesn't like the product because Wizards have been going absolutely down the hill when it comes to quality. And no Black Aragorn. I'll pass. Was going to drop a lot of cash on it too. Here's a fan of Lord of the Rings. That is what they missed out on. Just absolutely astonishing. My god, what has happened to you? Woke greed trash. The greed card. Pass. I want Tolkien Lord of the Rings and not some random Tumblr Lord of the Ring fan fiction. Because Tolkien didn't describe Aragorn, Galadriel, and Eowyn, right? Hope you lose money. Hey, Wizards of the Coast. Sure, you'll give Aragorn some alternative art for us that likes Tolkien. I mean, it's basically more revenue for you and it will please Lord of the Ring fans. Hard pass. You are effing up the lore. Actually, so disgusting. I truly don't know what was going through these people's heads at Wizards of the Coast in trying to cater to Lord of the Rings fans and yet just completely changing the lore and depiction of these characters from the source material. But that is not all, as you also have people defending the change, and we'll be taking a look at their bios, because for the most part, they all have something in common. Here's one. Black Aragorn and Black Eowyn. Love heart emojis. Your favorite Black Elf. Oh, look at that. She, her. Next one, from Fitzshashima the Imposter. If you're mad this Aragorn is black or doesn't look like Viggo Mortensen, I want you to know I think you are effing idiot and a loser little booby baby. And look at this person. Let's see this. He, him, ace. Oh, yeah. He's got a big, big resume. My God. Let's go to the next one. Ancom, Psycom, I will rejoice and drink in the tears of these crybaby reactionaries who think that making an Aragorn black is some horrific disgrace to the source material. Get effed, losers. Ancorn, let's see. Anarchist theory, leftist politics, science, communication. Oh my god, he, him. These are the types of people that Wizards of the Coast is pandering to. These are the people, not the actual fans that actually respect the writer, but these types of individuals. 
And it's been time and time again, companies pandering to these people rather than the fans and what made these franchises a success in the first place. And this will fail as we've seen countless of times, especially in the movie industry. I wouldn't be surprised if these people that support this change don't actually end up buying the set. That's usually how it goes. They voice their approval of the change, don't support the product, and move on. And what happens, the product tends to underperform and fail. Even though it looks as if it has a lot of support back in it, but in reality, it doesn't. And it's just that these people have the bigger and louder louder voices. Continuing on the trend of defiling works of great writers from the past and not caring about the actual fan base. Congratulations on the Black Aragorn, Black Gandalf, Black Galadriel, and Black Eowyn. As if it wasn't a lazy change to pander to certain groups and to not stick to an already established universe. As there is no need in this day and age to actually make new creations of universes or characters when you already have a well-established IP that has a load of fans that can potentially make you a lot of money. And well, it continues to backfire because the majority of the fan base isn't going to support it and with all that in mind i'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and i'll catch you on the next one Bye bye